Welcome back guys. We are loading up and gonna hook up the truck. Stopped at Whitestown, getting some fuel. It's the cheapest place within a couple hundred miles. Got the truck hooked up. We're all ready to go. Next stop, Panama. Well, I think we're going to try to get to south of um, Tennessee tonight if all goes well. Well, we're still on our way. Made a stop uh, north of Nashville here, a um, couple hours north. Going to try to get south of Nashville. It's Saturday morning. We did make it south of, uh, I'm going to say Tennessee, Nashville. Um, found a parking area and pulled in for the night. And it did real well. Had the generator running all night. Had the aqua hot on kept at 70 degrees uh, just took a shower um, dogs are going to the bathroom so I think we've got about six and a half hours left and we'll be in Panama hello what I thought I'd show you here is just what it looks like on the inside um, after we stop this is when we had some breakfast uh, we ended up getting in about six hours later and got it set up uh, this is just some pictures of the outside and I'm going to end up doing a clip on the hookups and then tell you about the inside. Hookups are pretty easy as well. Got an automatic reel for the electric and the other the water and the sewer connect at the bottom. Got the aqua hot running right now. And then to drain the tanks, all you have to do is hit the buttons. Right here. And let it drain and hit the grain. Well, this is the inside. Uh, we're staying at uh, Panama Beach for seven days. And so this is what it's like on the inside. So we've got um, the two couches. Uh, we've got one here and one here and they'll both fold out so we put the kids on there at night um, got plenty of kitchen counter space um, plenty of hot water plenty of storage um, the one thing that we do wish we had a little bit bigger area was the dining um, that will pull out though and we also want to get some different chairs i think that'll make it work a little bit better uh, but we've got full-size fridge, which is nice. And we're able to pack all of us in here and have plenty of storage. We have the washer dryer, but we didn't put it in here. Um, and we're able to like stock this thing up. It just holds tons of, tons of stuff in here. Um, the shower. It's a full-size shower. That is extremely nice. Got plenty of hot water because of the aqua hot. Then uh, we've got the vanity over here, which is pretty nice. Um, we've got the bathroom, which we've got a real toilet in here. Uh, the one thing I don't like about it is that it does run off of air. The toilet does run off of air, uh, which is good when it works, but you've got to run the air compressor. Um, got plenty of storage in here. Um, I've got another sink. There's just storage underneath there. There's storage um, back behind this mirror. There's storage up above the uh, toilet. Like I said, we've got the washer dryer. We've got storage galore underneath of the sink. Um, each one of these pop out. Uh, this has got tons of storage so we can hang clothes in there. Um, we can put clothes in these. Um, this piece here folds out. We didn't have anything in there so I, I put my clothes in it. 
Um, this door right here will shut. And then there's another door right there that I'll shut and I'll give you kind of a bathroom suite. Uh, this is the master bedroom, of course. So there's tons of storage up top. This is the circuit breaker. There's more storage down in here. Um, we've also got the TV. There's storage back behind it. We've got storage there, storage there, storage there. And then as you work your way around, we've got more storage on this side. And then back in the back, um, we can hang clothes up above. We've got additional storage. Um, then over on this side, but we've got my all of, for four of us, we've hung all of our clothes up on one side. And then we've got additional storage. Um, the bed, it also pops up and there's additional storage underneath of it. So the four of us, um, we packed up for this trip and half of these cabinets aren't even full. And I've got one bin underneath that's empty. I just put a grill in it and a TV in it because I didn't have anything else to put in it. But it's been pretty nice. Um, like I said, the shower is able to uh, provide hot water for all of us. Um, it's got a 160 gallon water tank, 80 black, uh, 80 water. Um, so it does fine. Um, I've got four rooftop airs. Um, it's colder here in Florida. Drove 12 hours and it's colder than at home, but um, the two, just running two air conditioners um, and two of them on fan has cooled the bus down. And then at night, we just run two of them on the heat pump. Um, we've got the aqua hot that we could heat as well. Um, there's additional storage here. Um, back up so you can see them, but we've got storage here. These you can pull out. They've got um, food in them. Um, down here, I think we just put some alcohol in there and I put some additional drinks in here. Um, these things, you know, we've got tons of storage underneath. Um, there's all of the storage there. Um, we've got additional storage here. And then we've got additional storage up top and we don't even have anything, have them filled up. Um, we've got drawers here and drawers over here. What I wanted to show you here is just a quick clip of what it's like outside. Um, had the awning set up. Uh, also, I ended up, I've got the lights on here at night. Uh, just wanted to show you what it looks like approaching it um, from the back. Um, I was afraid there wasn't going to be a lot of light. There's only one uh, light up there at the top, and during the daytime you can't even really tell that it's on, uh, but at night it puts out quite a bit of light. I think I'm going to end up probably putting in a LED light uh, that will go across the top um, so that if we want some more light out there. Uh, this is the entertainment bay. Um, I've yet to build that uh, probably in the next month or so I'll get that built the bus is just tall I'm six foot tall and um, you know you're kind of looking halfway into there so you know you, it's kind of a fish tank effect but you're so high up in the air um, you know it's it the bus has just got a lot of height to it uh, this is some pictures of the bus at night um, the beds uh, in the front and then the bed in the back. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video for you guys. It's been a while since we've had one out. Um, we ended up having COVID and uh, set us back. I'm going to end up putting some more videos out here. Uh, we also had some friends um, come down with us and so just didn't really want to film and put a lot of that on the internet but uh, we will next time. Thanks for joining.